Igor Sikorsky Kiev International Airport, Zhuliani, Ukrainian, Miznarodny Airport, Kiev. Ameni Agora Sikorskogo Zulani IATA, IEV, ICAO, UKKK is one of the two passenger airports of the Ukrainian capital Kiev, the other being Boryspil International Airport. It is owned by the municipality of Kiev and located in the Zhuliani neighborhood, about 7 km miles southwest of the city center. Aside from facilitating regular passenger flights, Kiev International Airport is also the main business aviation airport in Ukraine, and one of the busiest business aviation hubs in Europe. History Early years The airport is known since 1923 as a military airfield that was co-used by the Ukrpovitroshlak, Ukrainian Society of Air Communications, which in 1934 was completely integrated into Aeroflot as the latter's regional administration. The airport terminal was built only after World War II in 1949. Until the 1960s, Zhuliani was the only passenger airport serving Kiev. In 1959, the larger Boryspil International Airport was built near the city of Boryspil, gradually replacing Zhuliani as the main airport serving Kiev. Since that time, the old Kiev airport became commonly known just as Zhuliani or Kiev Zhuliani and was used for Soviet domestic flights only. Topic. International flights and traffic revival After Ukraine gained independence in 1991, Kiev airport began receiving international flights from nearby countries first from its former Soviet domestic destinations, increasingly so since the 2000s when Ukraine's civil aviation started booming. On 27 March 2011, Wizz Air, the locally pioneering low-cost airline, moved all its operations to Giuliani from the Boryspil Airport, starting the new era of around-the-clock flights at the airport and increasing the passenger traffic by 15 to 20 percent. In 2012, the airport has managed to survive the European cold wave without major flight delays or cancellations. Surrounded by major railways, highways, and residential districts, the airport has limited possibilities to expand its runway. Therefore, it is limited in the weight of aircraft that are allowed to fly in the airport, currently up to Boeing 737, Airbus A320 type. In 2013, the airport declared plans to expand the runway for additional 150 meters, although stressing complete safety and operability of its current length. Other parts of the airport infrastructure are also being developed. The new A terminal opened on 17 May 2012, now receives all international and some domestic flights. Projects for expanding Giuliani's taxiways and aircraft parking lots considered as well. Topic. Recent developments In the first half of 2013, the airport's passenger traffic rose 2.7-fold to 816,757 passengers per year since the beginning of the year, including 4.2-fold growth of the domestic traffic. According to the media and industry experts, once underdog Giuliani Airport has rapidly grown into a major, and more efficient, competitor to the country's leading Boryspil Airport. As of July 2013 Moscow, Treviso and Dortmund were the most popular international destinations from the airport, with Simferopol, Donetsk and Odessa leading among domestic destinations. Also in 2013, the airport opened a new domestic terminal and a new business terminal, with currently three terminals in service. In March 2015, Wizz Air Ukraine announced that it would cease operations leading to the cancellation of several routes from their base at the airport. Only some of their former routes were taken over by its parent, Wizz Air, though the airlines has since expanded its flight network from the airport, with 20 destinations to be served by August 2017. Between 14 and 24 May 2017, the airport was closed for runway improvement work. Wizz Air transferred its flights to Boryspil International Airport during that period. On the 22nd of March 2018, the Kiev City Council officially renamed the airport International Airport Kiev, Zhuliany Igor Sikorsky in honor of Igor Sikorsky. 
Nevertheless, the airport continued to be referred to as Giuliani. Topic: Airlines and destinations. Topic: Passenger. The following airlines operate regular scheduled and charter flights to and from Kiev International Airport, Giuliani. Topic: Cargo. Topic: Neighboring aviation facilities. A major aircraft maintenance, repair and overhaul company, the so-called Kiev Aircraft Repair Plant 410, adjoins the airport. In 2003, the Ukraine State Aviation Museum was created in one of the industrial estates neighboring the airport. It is the largest aviation museum in Ukraine, exhibiting some unique Soviet examples including original prototypes for famous airliners. The Ukrainian Air Force and the Ukrainian National Guard maintain a small training facility in the vicinity of the Zhuliani Airport. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Ground transportation Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Road The airport is connected to the city's main highway infrastructure via the Povitroflotsky Avenue and served by a number of city transport routes including Trolleybus Route 22, Kiev Airport Olzhicha Street, transfer for Metro at Dorohajici Station, Soretsko Petrska Line. Bus Route 78, Kiev Airport Vasilkiska Metro Station, transfer for Metro, Obolonsko Taremkiska Line, as well as private bus routes. Car parking facilities at the airport itself are limited, however, long stay parking can be found in the airport's immediate vicinity. Taxis can often be found waiting directly outside the terminal, in the passenger drop-off, pick-up area. Rail The airport's old passenger terminal is located about 0.5 km away from the kiev volinsky rail station, a stop for Elektrichka commuter trains as well as for the new Intracity Urban Electric train service. Topic. Metro Plans for the Podilsko Vyhorovska line, which is planned for construction elsewhere in the city, includes the airport transfer station from the Giuliani airport. The station is expected to be constructed by 2030. Topic. See also List of airports in Ukraine List of the busiest airports in Ukraine List of the busiest airports in Europe List of the busiest airports in the former USSR <laughs>